Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in Alpine, Texas, which is in West Texas. This weekend I'm here with a friend and we're trying to go sightsee the Big Bend area. Even though this isn't specifically a harping trip, I'm going to try to make the most of these next three days that I have here. I'll try to find as many cool herps as I can, hopefully some really cool lifers. But yeah, we just got to the hotel and it's pretty late at night, so I'm gonna try to get some sleep and then we'll leave early morning and I'll just let you know what I find. So as it turns out, I will not be sleeping right now because I just saw these really good looking rocks. I flipped that one and got a lifer. This is a Tantilla species, similar to the Tantilla gracilis that we have in Austin, except this one is called Tantilla hobart smithi, the Smith's black-headed snake. They have a really cool orangish venter. And what separates them from another species that's in this area, which is Tantilla nigriceps, they, they don't have a little point at the edge of their head. That crown is just a straight line right there. So that's how I know this is Hobart smithi and not nigriceps. But yeah, I was not expecting to find a snake this early. <laughs> I've literally been out here like five minutes, just got to the hotel and there's already a snake. So the best thing about Tantilla is they absolutely do not sit still for photos. This one is wriggling around everywhere. I'm gonna try to pose it on this rock. Maybe I can get some video, but I'm definitely gonna try to get some photos first. So I got it in this little box here. Calm down a lot more. Hopefully I can show off some of its features better. Right there is that dark crown without the point. Hopefully I find a nigriceps so I can actually show the point. Yeah, overall not really a big snake. Here's how big it is for scale. Similar in size to some of the larger Tantilla gracilis, the flat-headed snakes. But yeah, I'm so excited to already find a snake this early in the trip. So I've bothered this snake way too much. I'm just gonna set it back under the same rock it was in. Hopefully it goes back. Tantilla don't seem to like to do that. Oh, there it goes. It'll make it under there. They're super fos fossorial, just like the flat-headed snakes. But in West Texas, they can also be seen climbing on rock faces at night. Either way, pretty cool. Got to see this. It's the next morning. We are driving to the Davis Mountains first, and then we'll head to Big Bend. There's a whiptail down here. I think it's a new species for me, but I've got some pictures. I'll check the ID later and let you know. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm not very familiar with whiptails here, but I think this is a plateau striped whiptail. But I'll double check later and let you know. Right there is Eurosaurus ornatus, the ornate tree lizard, on a rock, not a tree. Oh, it saw us. Yeah, we have these guys in Austin too. I've never seen one this far west though. It's pretty cool. I just found another tiny ornate tree lizard on the side of this little tree. Is tiny. So we just drove down from Alpine, a little bit closer to the Big Bend area, which is where we'll be going in a few hours. Right now we're staying in an Airbnb. It's pretty remote, but it looks really nice for herping. There's a bunch of cover boards everywhere. So maybe I can try to flip those at night and see if there's anyone hanging out. Right now it's a bit hot. I have seen some whiptails scurrying around here, but I haven't really gotten good looks at them. So we've just arrived at Big Bend at a scenic overlook. Down here, there was a lizard. If I can find it again. So 
So I was looking through my binoculars way out there. It will appear as a tiny dot on here, right in the center of the screen. There's a turtle out there, and I believe it's a Big Ben slider, Trichemus gagei, which is a lifer for me. I'm gonna count it, even though it's actually on the Mexico side. This is the Rio Grande. Right there is Mexico, and here's the U.S. But yeah, super cool. Another lifer for the trip. All right, here's a new species of whiptail. Actually, no, it's a side blotch lizard. Nice, I've seen these in California, but this is my first one in Texas. That's so cool. So I saw some hopping here earlier. There's some tracks in the mud. If I follow them up, there's a little frog over there. I think it might actually be a bullfrog, which I think is invasive in this area. That's pretty cool. I just found a snake shed over here near the Rio Grande. Seems to be some sort of colubrid. Honestly, I have no idea what kind. And there's the head. And it's got smooth scales. I don't know. If any of you have any ideas, let me know. Here we've got another side blush lizard. We're about to start hiking into the trail. It's in a canyon, so it'll be pretty shaded. So there's a soft shell in the water, soft shell turtle. I think this is actually the Texas soft shell turtle, which is Apoenia spinifera emerii, which is a subspecies I've never seen before. So on the way back from Big Bend, I found this random rock cut on the side of the road. Decided to try to look around to see if I can find any snakes. But I looked up here, and right there is my lifer canyon lizard, Scoloperus meriami. They're really cool. They have like a row of twin spotting. I think this one might actually be asleep up there, just clinging to the side. Kind of weird that it's not in a crack or something. But I'll definitely take a lifer lizard, that's pretty cool. All right, just got back to the Airbnb. It's that time of night where I have to flip everything I see. So I'll start off with this board. I don't know if I can do it while recording, but I'll, if I find anything under any of the boards, I'll let you know. So no herps yet, but I did find this really cool tarantula. Not really sure what species it is in this region. It doesn't really look like a Texas brown tarantula, so it might be the Texas tan tarantula but honestly I have no idea, so I'm not gonna say for sure. Either way, really cool spider species here. All right, so I was walking around over there. My friend found a rattlesnake. This is crazy. This is a Western Diamondback rattlesnake, I think. It's just perched in here in this little cavity it made in the ground in ambush, hoping that a mouse or a rat comes by. So I'm not entirely sure if this is an Aatrox, so I'm gonna try to nudge it a little bit, try to get a look at the tail. Oh. oh wow, look at that. Come on, show your tail. Yep, that's an Aatrox. All right, it's starting to coil up again. Yeah, that's an Aatrox. You can tell by the, the even spacing of the black and white bands on the tail that it's not a Mojave. Mojave would have much more white on the tail. He has a Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Probably, I think it's the most common rattlesnake in West Texas. And I'm so glad to finally see one here. So I was trying to seek shelter under this. And it's rattling a little bit. But it's in no way trying to chase me or anything. It's just getting away. If I get a little bit close, it might rattle at me. But it'll still try to flee. I love that little aberrant band 
on its tail. It doesn't go all the way across and it's almost merging with the one before it. Yeah, it's probably gonna... Oh, there it is. Yeah. I was being really angry before. I think when I stand up, it gets a little threatened. Yeah. And then go back down. It stopped. So since we found this guy pretty close to the property, I'm probably gonna relocate him further down into the, to the brush so he doesn't run into any future residents of this house. Guy's being angry for no reason. I'm only trying to help him so he doesn't get killed. Come on. This might be a long walk, so I'll cut to that. All right, found a little tree base to put him near. I'm almost there. Hopefully, we'll be able to successfully find food tonight at the base of this tree, and hopefully it doesn't go back to the property. This guy is so grumpy, but at least he'll live. All right, be safe, little guy. All right, day two of Big Bend. We're here this morning. Gonna do some more trails, hopefully see some more herbs. I just found this random well. Looked inside, there's a snake shed over there. Again, I have no idea what kind. That's interesting. Just rescued this tarantula off the trail that my friend almost stepped on. I'm just gonna release it here. <laughs> Keeps trying to climb up. Can go down. Oh, okay. That works. Please? There we go. Alright, so we're on the way back from Big Bend. It's an unfortunate sight. There's a freshly hit Aatrox on the road. I'm gonna move it off so that scavengers don't come and get it and try to eat it and die. Kind of a bummer, but there's still time. So we're gonna keep looking. So it seems like there's another snake just down the road. This one is definitely alive. Oh, I forgot my hook in the car. Oh, it's another rattlesnake. Wow, yep. It's another Western Diamondback. That's so cool. I think there was something else down there. Now I'm gonna cut the clip really quick to go get my hook so I can keep this safe. All right, this guy's turning around, but it was heading that way. I'm gonna try to get it back that way. Hopefully he doesn't... It's not grumpy like the one from last night. Oh. I'm just gonna gently corral him that way. Yep. Oh, that way. Hey! Don't strike at the hook. Keep going. There we go. Keep going. Wow, so defensive. Keep going. Good job. Safe off the road. All right, I found a road cut on the side of the road. And here, not a snake, there's a lizard. Its tail is poking out. And I believe that's a crevice spiny lizard, Scoloporus poinsettiae, just sleeping in the crack there. 
don't want to disturb it. So, got some pictures, I'll keep moving. We just stopped for another DOR, Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. But down the road, my friend saw another DOR. This one doesn't have any blood, so I'm going to show it. But this one would have been a really nice find because it's a glossy snake. Such a bummer. Unfortunately, it is dead. So I'm just going to move both of them off the road. We just got to the hotel that we'll be staying at tonight after road cruising the way back from Big Bend. Actually, it was, the road cruising was a lot better than I expected. We ended up seeing three live snakes, all of which were Aatrox. Unfortunately, I was only able to get one of them on film. But there were also three more DOR Aatrox, and actually that DOR Glossy was pretty sad.